Now that we've discovered what the centripetal acceleration is, what is the centripetal force? Remember that centripetal force is a resultant force. And by Newton's second law, F equals to ma. So the centripetal force is equal to the m times the centripetal acceleration, which is equal to mv squared over r. Furthermore, as we derived earlier, v equals to r omega. If we substitute it into mv squared over r, we get f equals to mr omega squared. Cool! However, here's a small but important warning. Centripetal and angular acceleration are not the same. Centripetal acceleration is the rate of change of tangential velocity that allows your centripetal force requirement to exist, and hence circular motion to occur, which has the units meters per second squared, while angular acceleration is the rate of change of angular frequency and has the units of radians per second squared.